Uh, hello everyone, this is the Today at Pal broadcast from Monday the 16th of March 2020. Um, after school on Monday we got all the teachers together um, in my office um, to have a chat about the day. Um, we had a really good lively discussion, especially in the first two minutes, uh, but unfortunately we forgot to turn the microphone on. Um, so it wasn't until Miss White was halfway through speaking that we realised, and in a moment I'll play that bit from then onwards. Uh, some of the things that you missed in this section now, um, which is playing in the background here, uh, was Mr McBean telling us about Mrs Joy coming to sing with us this morning. Thank you Mrs Joy, we year two had a great singing lesson. Um, and we also heard about all the things that preschool have been up to today, and a lot of them have been outdoors um, for their learning. Um, they've been measuring worms, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Nynham told us, which sounds fabulous. And we also heard how we had our first parent encounter no eggs at Tesco's. And where did they come next? Well, of course, the preschool. Um, and the chickens are feeding one of our families this evening. So that's great to hear, isn't it? Um, but I'm going to switch this over now. Um, we'll jump ahead to when the audio starts. Enjoy. Bean. Are we muted? I'm not sure. Might have been. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Um, in literacy, we have been continuing with our Florida presentations that the children are going to present on Wednesday. Some are planning a trip to Florida with the expenses and wet there. I have some questions about we can't actually go at the moment, Miss Right? Are we still on? Yeah, Carol, yeah. don't worry. <laughs> um, we can't go at the moment. I said, that's fine. Just imagine that everything wasn't happening. We are going. Um, some are just talking to us just about Florida and things that they can do there. And some are making a leaflet about things, which is really nice. And then we had Read, Write, Ink, which was all fine. We were looking at suffixes and root words. And this afternoon we had art and PE. In art, we were making things that will become apparent soon. Can't disclose what we were making just yet. And in P, we were creating dances, which was really super. So that sounds very day. ominous that you can't reveal what's happening no, yet. So not yet. Looking, forward, <laughs> looking forward to seeing that. Uh, so all sorts of exciting things have been happening through the school today. We've had read or ink training taking place in the staff room as well. And we've had some teachers come across uh, from Dorset, from a, a range of schools across Dorset. Uh, to join in with us. Um, this is Mrs. Scott doing her maths lesson earlier on, doing some money in, in the library, keeping busy uh, and counting the pennies on that one. And uh, Mrs. Brooker came into each of our classes today, didn't she? What did uh, Mrs. Brooker come in for? Uh, Mrs. Brooker bought each class a worry monster. Um, so the worry monster was with collects worries in his tummy. So you write worry and you put it in his tummy and he takes your worry away. And so we all had to name, which is quite funny. Name mm, it was our good. Monster. It was good. So year three's worry monster, as voted by year three, it's called Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> year yeah. four's, as voted by year four's, it's called Pepsi. Mm -hmm. I think uh, year two's is year called two's Sally. 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 <laughs> 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 I'm supposed to be Sally, but it didn't get <laughs> the Monsters Inc. inspired, yeah, but with, yeah, slight yeah, change there. So, and uh, Sally, it is, Mrs. Brooker also did a great assembly as well, uh, which uh, many of you would have seen through the live live stream earlier on today, um, and that was great and uh, really helped us to uh, break down and understand what's happening with coronavirus from the children's perspective, um, and also reassure them that. Um, that they don't, they don't need to worry. Um, so that that was really important. And preschool have been singing Happy Birthday yeah. while washing their hands and, and learning to wash their hands properly today. Fantastic. Year one year one year yeah. Now I've had loads of home learning through, and I haven't yet been able to collate it all into these folders. But some of the work that came through earlier today, I'm going to show, and then tomorrow morning I'll show everyone who tunes in for Good Morning Pal at nine o'clock, which I hosted this morning. Um, I'll show some more examples. So there's just a few bits of work here. Check this out, guys. This is um, one of our homes. They set up their own, <laughs> oh, wow. they set up their own home learning room Amazing. in their house. Um, they put all of our guides up on the wall. Um, and they've really started to crack on with their with their home learning oh, activities. Here, so here they've put the guide up on things that you can do, uh, non-screen related activities, and we certainly encourage that. Um, and there's some great ones. I think you've been recommending some of these, haven't you, Julia? <laughs> yes, I found a good Lego challenge today, a 30-day Lego challenge. Which looked good. Fantastic. And they've also put up our homeschool learning plan oh. up on the screen. And uh, 
his uh, one of them doing a bit of work there, <laughs> uh, which is great to see. And uh, another one of our pupils next to the sign. Look, I, I like how they're still in uniform. Yeah, yeah. still in yeah. uniform. I didn't spot oh, that earlier. Like that. That's commitment. I, yeah, top marks for commitment there. Fantastic. And there's two more of our students that oh. working hard at home today, which is absolutely great to see um, and uh, really fantastic. So well done, everyone. We'll try something which I haven't tried yet before. I'm going to try and play a video, which I'm not sure the sound's going to work, but we'll give it a go because as people have been sending work into me, I've been sending some personal messages back. And this is uh, one of the pieces of work from Isla today that we're just going to try and play. Hi, Isla. We're sorry you can't be at school. I've just come and shown Chef Debs your amazing work this morning for Literacy at Home. Isn't that awesome, Debs? That's brilliant. Well done, Isla. I'm just going to read it out. Ben loves his peaceful new home. In his old house, it was busy, loud and crowded. He now lives in the middle of nowhere on a big rock. He is isolated, good word, with no people around him. I would prefer to live in a big city like London because it has got lots of theatres and amusement parks, so lots to do. Do you like going to London, Debs? I well, used to live in London. Oh, did you? Fantastic. Loved it. Ben travels across the lake in a canoe. Hands again on the canoe? Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he can't hop on a bus or walk along the street. He spends his days playing and swimming in the lake and reading. He sits on the rock. He sits on the rock. His house is on. He finds his food in the forest. He finds bananas, avocados, and kiwi fruits. That sounds Ooh, healthy. Sounds nice. Sounds like you could maybe include them in the dessert, Debs. Yeah. Inside his house, he has wooden toys like a wooden top. He has got a TV from olden days with no remote control. His sofa is made out of bamboo, and he has a pet panda. Oh wow! Would you like a pet panda? I'd love a pet panda. I <laughs> call Bambi, who eats the bamboo from the sofa. He repeats these things every day for the rest of his life. He becomes lonely, but Bambi is his friend. Isn't that a fabulous oh, piece that's of writing, brilliant. Days? brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Adam, for sending it in. Just to let you know, we read everything that you send to us, okay? And we'll see you soon. Isn't that a great piece of work? Yay! Yay! Super, super, super job. And I have had a photo of one of our uh, young readers as well. Um, this is one of our young readers. Smith News, Justin. Oh, wow. Benji has been reading Northern Lights. Do you want to send him a message? He can hear you. Oh, gosh, that's amazing. Look at that. Fantastic. We're just recording the video, so we can't hear us back. Oh. Awesome. But isn't that a fantastic <laughs> thing to see? As our literacy coordinator, I think oh. you should get stuck in that for the problem. So. You're going to finish that by the end of the week. Oh, there's a challenge here, Benji. There is a challenge. Uh, but Benji's been set a challenge there to finish that book by the end of the week, which is great to see. Oh, and Isla's brother Jack. This is Isla's brother's Jack's work. Wow. This piece of work by Jack, Isla's brother. And a fantastic response That's to the brilliant, same picture isn't it? that Isla did the writing about. Yep. Really lovely colours there, Jack. Really great piece of work. And uh, Debs is uh, very, very impressed, aren't you, Debs? Very impressed. Well done, Jack, and well done, Isla. Keep up the great work. Fantastic. So lovely pieces of work. Uh, really exciting to see all those come through. Uh, so well done for everyone that haven't having a home. We've also had uh, some people send in some of their code work. Um, so this was Benji's code um, that he put together. I don't know if it can get a bit big on the screen. Um, and he said he set some challenges within that. And then I sent Benji his code back, but seeing if he can decode his own code, basically. So uh, I wonder if he's been able to do that yet. That's gone back as well. Uh, so there's a whole host of different things that have come in. We've also had this video uh, from Tabitha, I think. Your from Tilly. <laughs> they were going to learn. They were going to learn how to wash our hands. Turn on the tap. Put your hands under till they're nice and wet. And then you get some soap and squirt it on, like this. And you mix it all up. And then you put it on each bum, like this. So yeah, do that. I just got soap on me. And that. You will feel that your hands are a little bit dry after washing them a few times. 
So you just walk over here, grab the hand sanitizer, get some piss on your hand. And you mix it in wherever your dry spot is. Because since washing your hands gives you a, um, a few dry spots, do this. It feels so, kind of like sun cream, but looks like way softer. And yeah, then your hands are going to be all better. Wait, when I put my finger there, it looks like it's pixelated. Okay, um, yeah, so now you have nice and clean hands and you can feel free to do anything. I think we should give a big round of applause. Oh, yeah. Super, super, thank you so much. Feel free to do anything. <laughs> Thank you, Tilly. That, that's fantastic, isn't it? Um, and I think I think that's nearly all that we got to share for today. But there's one last thing we've got to tell you about. Got to tell you all about the new service that we've launched. Uh, here it is, inspired <laughs> by inspired by Delivery, the uh, world's greatest caretaker has been out this afternoon, delivering uh, some packs of information, and we hope that um, they're useful for those people that are out isolating at home. Uh, we hope to see you soon. So we're going to end the broadcast there. Sure, I've got another picture of there we go <laughs> of uh, the man himself. Uh, should we all say goodbye? Let's see if I can get this off and then put that one on. Let's go around the room. Let Mr. Mabin say goodbye. Bye-bye. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. 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 See you soon. See so you guys. We are aware there's a few issues with the sound on that. We'll hopefully sort that out next time. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs>